what we call commonwealth of the people of Ghana if they did not have a say as to how the entire process was set up, if they do not have a say on the um, the sincerity of the government in setting up the entire deal itself and how this thing is going to favor them at the end of the day. Most importantly, if people who are relatives, associates, uh, apologists of the government are the ones who are on the board and they, if they are the ones who have formed this company, then it shows that there is uh, there's so much to be probed. It shows there is so much to be looked into. Uh, it gives us an impression that there was no transparency at all in the first place. And it gives us also the impression that the people have not been uh, um, informed, duly informed as to how this is really going to benefit them. Uh, surprisingly, we found our papers we served this case is two years old now. We filed in 2020, this is 2022, and they reserved. And it took them time, of course. They filed their own defense out of time. And even the defense, uh, this is again sounding a note of caveat. This is not looking into the merits of the case. That is for the courts to do. But looking at their defense, most of the allegations that we have backed up with fact, with documents,